Hey, what's up guys? Jake here with this week's episode of What's New TW. Let's get right into what I got for you today. First one up is from ABT Lures. Um, this is a new addition to their Extreme Rap series. Um, this week we got the new uh, Suicide Swimmer. A couple weeks ago we had the Suicide Glide. It's the same body profile, except it has two joints in it. it gives you a three-segmented body. It gives you a lot more natural S, you know, swimming motion versus the big wide glide. But still got the same great wraps on them. They look ultra realistic, better than you know any other like paint job you're gonna see on a bait out there. So if you're looking for those like realistic, you know, big swim baits for those like super clear water lakes, uh, check these out by ABT. All right, next up from Sabil. I thought this was kind of cool design. This is the new flat shad snagless lipless crankbait. Um, just like your standard rattle trap, we got them here in their 50 size. I think it's the 3 8 and then their 66 size is a 3 quarter ounce. Um, so it's their snagless design. So as you can see on here on the front, it just has a double hook. And on the back, it has the feather but no hook on it. So, I mean, you can really rip this thing through some grass or cover or whatever you, if, whatever you like to fish. Um, just going to get hung up, I mean, way less than any kind of bait that's got two treble hooks on it. So. If you really like to throw rattle traps a lot, you know, or lipless crankbaits, uh, you like to throw them through cover, definitely give these a look. These are going to come through a lot better than most other ones out there. All right, next up, one of my favorites. So this is a Blade Runner Spin Tricks head. Now this is probably one of my favorite underspin heads that I've used. Um, they're a little bit heavier duty than a lot of underspins, so I like to throw you know bigger style swim baits on them. But these new ones uh, from Blade Runner are the Spin Tricks with the screw lock on them. Now they don't have the barb keepers on them, they have those screw lock keepers that have been getting more popular recently. Hold your baits on there really nice and then you don't have to super glue your baits down and you're, you're going to save a lot more swim bait tails um, in the end there. Um, I can't tell you how many of these I have down at the bottom of my, bottom of my box, they're just covered all gunked up with super glue. So I'm super stoked about these coming out. So if you like the underspins, um, check these ones out from Blade Runner. All right, the next two products I got are some new color additions, but they're some of our top selling products, so we thought we'd just give you guys a look at these and let you know that the new colors are out. So from Strike King, we got a bunch of new Mark Menendez colors, uh, additions to their, some of their hard bait lineups. I believe they're going to be available in the 3XD, the 5XD, the Red Eye Shad, some in the 8XD, and some in the, um, the flat side square bill. So some of the colors he's got here is the Copper Nose Shad, uh, Caramel Apple Shad, Pineapple Smash, Moon Gill, and then last but not least is going to be Sexy Rockstar. Like I said, these are all Mark Menendez design colors, so, you know, just a few more colors to add to the Strike King lineup. Check those out. All right, next up, uh, got a few new colors for the Gene LaRue Biffle Bugs. I know we sell a ton of Biffle Bugs. You guys love to throw those things. So a few of the colors that they just came out with, um, this first one is called Black Blue Plum. Black Blue on one side, it's got some plum on the bottom. Uh, then we got a black and gold color, uh, double gold. I mean, I <laughs> see double gold, gold plastic, gold flakes. So, I mean, that thing is really shiny. And then we got a couple shad colors in there. Got a gizzard shad color, uh, thread fin shad color. Let's see. We also got a Tennessee shad. And then last, we got a new morning dawn color from Jean LaRue. For the, so, a few new colors to add to the Biffle Bugs. So, be sure to check those out. Next one up, another one that I'm super stoked about. Um, these are the new Komodo SS reels from Okuma. Uh, I've got the last generation Okuma uh, Komodos, and I think I've been running them for like two and a half years. You know, I throw everything from big swim baits to them, uh, use them for a little bit of offshore, like rock fishing, you know, for link cods and stuff like that, and they've held up to everything. These are awesome reels. Um, some of the upgrades they've made to these reels is they've added a, um, a stainless steel pinion gear versus they took out the brass pinion gear on there. All stainless steel bearings in there, so I mean you're not going to get any corrosion resist, you know, corrosion anything like that in these things. Um, we got them in a 350 size, and then all the way up to this new, the big dog, a 450 size. So if you guys like to do inshore, you know, like uh, you know down the Gulf, off here in California, anything like that, and you need, you know, you want to run like a low profile level wine kind of reel, you know, be sure to check one of these out. Um, Cosmetically black, they have you know kind of a rugged outer finish to them, so I mean real comfortable in your hand, but it's not going to scratch very easily. The black, gray, silver is going to match up with all your rods. Um, got a ton of power. I think this 350 size is coming in at 25 pounds of drag, and this 450 size is coming in at 30 pounds of drag. So you can really haul some stuff in with these things. So looking for a new heavy duty reel? Check these out from Okuma. 
All right, next up, we got a new spinning reel from Daiwa. This is the BG um, spinning reel. Um, it's right there, like $100, $110 price point, but I mean, awesome reel when you put this thing in your hand. Ultra smooth, um, aluminum body, so it's super light. But same thing, kind of has that rugged, you know, aluminum finish on the outside, so it's not going to scratch easy. Kind of that matte black color, so I think it's going to match up great with just about any rod. One of the cool features I really liked on this is it has kind of a soft uh, rubber inlay right there on your spool, so you're not going to get, if you like to run braid to a leader, you're not going to get any kind of braid slip. Um, it happens all the time here in the store. A lot of people don't know about braid slip. If you put braid down, you're going to run a top shot, and you know, you, most of the time you have to run a, a monofilament backing or put down some tape so that your braid doesn't slip on the spool and you think your drag's broken, but uh, with this reel right here, you can run braid all the way straight down since they already have that, that rubber piece already inside your spool for you. So, I mean, great little key feature there that Daiwa did for you. Um, I mean, for the, the cost of this, this is a great spinning reel coming out from Daiwa. All right, last up, we got some new rods in. So we just started carrying the Miller rods. These Miller rods, I mean, cosmetically awesome looking rods. Um, these are all designed by Ian Miller and um, Elite Series Pro Carl Jacobson. Um, when you put these things in your hand, you can feel just how light they are and how balanced. That's what they really, really try to key in on is getting the rods tuned and balanced right so they're comfortable in your hand. I mean, they, they feel great. You can probably fish with them all day and they would feel awesome. Um, all the actions are custom blended, you know, tuned, you know, bait specific uh, style actions. So, I mean, they have a, a perfect rod lined up for every style of bait out there. Um, some of the other features, you know, they have like Fuji K-Series uh, semi micro guide guides on them, um, uh, custom hook keepers, uh, great warranty for original owners on these. Um, if you're looking for another, you know, more of a custom style uh, rod that, I mean, I think they're running around $300. Um, but I mean, for what you're getting out of these rods, they, they could go for a lot more. But I mean, in your hand, these feel like awesome, awesome rods. But check these out for Miller Rods. I think there's about 15 or so different actions out there. Um, for including the spinning and the casting. Uh, great new rods by Miller. For more detailed information on all the products I went over with you today, please click the link of the images below. And to view everything new at Tackle Warehouse this week, please click the link in the description. And be sure to check back with us next week for more What's New TW. Thank you. This one I got right here is a 6.5 inch model, but they're also gonna be coming in with an eight inch model we're gonna have here in a couple weeks, so. Here in sapphire blue, this is a really good jig trailer color. And we have our Mad Bluegill. Mad Bluegill has been one of the hot. It's kind of an anti-scratch, you know, because of that uh, machined aluminum, you know, the anodizing to it. 